How's everyone doing? Oh, Alright, it's Cody guys. I'm back again dropping yet another video. Right guys, uh, today's video, as you can tell from the title, is going to be on police bail. Right, These videos are aimed at people that have never been in trouble with the police. Um, and just like, what what is police bail? How does it work? Blah, blah, blah. Right? So, you've been arrested. Right? Then you've been questioned. Right? Um, like I said, there's, I've done it. Uh, videos on police interviews and stuff like that before um, how they work and stuff like that right at the end of when the police are, once you've been interviewed and stuff the police are then they contact the CPS if there's enough evidence they'll charge you if there's not enough evidence you'll be placed on a thing called bail right now there's two types of bail guys you've got conditional and you've got unconditional unconditional means you've, there's no conditions you can come and go as you please uh, you've got no, you've got no, like, you, there's nothing, there's no rules or anything else, right? Then there's conditional bail, right? And I'll give you an example of conditional bail. Uh, some people that I fell out with decided to ring, uh, to write to my football um, team, Oldham Athletic, sent a threatening letter to the manager, right? Uh, on a stenciled letter, but the stencil was too big for the front, so they had to use their own handwriting. Um, on the front of the envelope and stuff, but on the in the letter they put my name right, trying to stitch me up, yeah, trying to get me fucking remanded to him to prison and stuff again, right? Um, so yeah, I was I was arrested, I was questioned, right? Um, I, I I talked in my interview, I had to talk because I wasn't I wasn't guilty of an offence, um, and I give handwriting samples and all this stuff. At the end of it, right, the police were looking to charge me, right, simple as that. But um, they held me for 23 hours and 55 minutes. So I was literally like five minutes and they had to charge me or, or release me. Um, and they released me, right, with unconditional bail. Now, I was on conditional bail for about a year, right? Now, during this period, yeah, now people think, oh, it's, it's just bail. Why would that bother you? Fuck me, guys, right? I had stupid amount. I had about 12 or 11 or 12 um, conditions, right? And these conditions, the police can set anything, right? Now, I wasn't allowed to go into the Oldham Metropolitan Borough, right, which is everything from Saddleworth Moor, right, where there's nothing, right, to, like, Shaw, Oldham, Royton, Chadderton, like, fucking Gloddick, Lees, all these areas, right, that I wasn't allowed in. But I had family in that area, right? Um, I had to report to the police station between 10 and 12 o'clock on a Friday... Um, I think, no, it was a Wednesday, a Monday and a Friday, right? Um, I had to have a, I was, I was on, put on a doorstep curfew, which means that I had to stay, live and stay at my property every night, right? And if the police attended, I'd have to show myself at the door, right? Um, so yeah, that was, that pissed me off, right? Because if, I, 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 do you know what, right? All the time I was on bail, the police never came once to check if I was in, which was quite strange because they had it in for me. Um... Yeah, what else did it fucking hell? I wasn't allowed to contact any employees, uh, sponsors, board of directors, players um, for, for my football team. I wasn't allowed to attend any Oldham Athletic matches home or away. Um, I didn't even write the letter, guys, right? I'll go on to that, right? Um, so, yeah, there's all these, like, there's all these fucking, like, these conditions and stuff, right? And you know what? I wasn't even guilty, guys, right? And I was still had to stick to... If I would have broke any of these conditions, right? Seriously, like, it, say the police, like, turned up at my door and I didn't answer the door or I wasn't there or something, right? I could have been... I, I could have ended up being remanded because they'll say, well, you 12 conditions, you broke them, and they could put me in finger. The only other thing that they didn't do, what they could have done, is put me on a tag. Um, but like I say... Like, I was on home detention anyway. I had to live and stay at my property every night. Um, I wasn't allowed to go into where my family was from. I wasn't allowed to go to that area to visit them. Um, and I was just like a puppet on a string, guys. I, I was... And do you know what, yeah? After all that time, yeah, it was a year or just over a year, right? Do you know what ended up happening? They ended up dropping the charges. The, the, oh, it's called NFA, yeah, for those that don't know. NFA stands for no further action, guys, right? That's where th there's no charge against you and you're free and you're free of your, your bail conditions and everything else. Like I say, you've got unconditional, unconditional means you can do what you want, where you want, go where you want, right? Like I say, I was, I was hankered. I couldn't go out. I had to be in for a certain time. I had to do this doorstep thing. Um, all these fucking stupid things, right? Also that, like... I didn't commit further offences while on bail. Now, 
recently, right, very recently, there's a new um, legislation been passed, right, the Police and Crime Act 2017. And now, apparently, um, they can only put people on bail for 28 days. Now, what they do, the police, right, they put people on bail, right, and then they, what they'll do, yeah, they don't just dig and dig and dig to try to fuck you over. They just put people on bail willy-nilly, right? Because they're, they're just like, well, we'll come back to them, we'll, we'll do what we do. And all they're hoping in that period is that something new comes to light, someone comes forward, someone drops a statement against you, or there's some sort of compelling evidence against you, CCTV, DNA, forensics, all that sort of stuff. Um, and you know what? This new legislation, right, it, it's for criminals. It, it's helping criminals. Um, because like I say, the, uh, from what I've read, I believe the police have got 28 days to charge you or they've got to, or, or the, then they can apply for an extension in executing circumstances. But if there aren't, then they've got to, they've got to leave you, right? Now, like I say, that's a good thing for criminals because like, like I say, um, some criminals are very clued up, other ones aren't and stuff. And other pe some people, while they're on bail, go on to commit further like offenses and stuff like that. Um... And it's fucking stupid, guys. The police just be putting you on a string and bam, and just leave you there to rot, guys. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, how can you get on with your life, right? Honestly, how can you get on with your life when you're on bail? And I, like, I couldn't say say I had a job working nights. I couldn't go to a job working nights because the police had put me on this doorstep curfew, right? Which means I had to live and sleep at my property every night. And if if the police turned up at my property, I have to um, produce myself at the front door. Right, I wouldn't have let him in because I weren't duty bound to let him in. Um, but I would, I would, do you know what I mean? And it, the thing is, I don't like the police, and I would have had an attitude and stuff. Um, I'm a polite person, um, very polite. And if well, saying that, if the coppers were alright with me, I'd probably be alright with them. But my, my um, the taste in my mouth from um, my local police for Greater Manchester Police is not a good one. Um, but yeah, like I say, so gone are the days of fucking like spending a year, years on people spend over a year, right, two years, ex, cetera, on bail, right, and then it's like fucking like I say, it's like being on bail. Like if you've got no conditions, you're sweet. If you've got conditions, right, depending on what your conditions are, um, it can it can limit you. Right into what you can do. Like, say you've got a say you've got a missus, right? And like, you, you wanted to go and stay at hers. You can't because you've got these fucking bail things, right? And like, you've got to you've got to have one bit of like a cautious mind and think. Well, if I do get caught at hers and I'm not here, right? Bam, I could end up in jail because, like I said, they wanted to charge me. Yeah, man. Right? They wanted to charge, right? But the thing is, what they tried to do, they kept me in overnight, right? Because, like I said, I got arrested in the afternoon. So they kept me in. They said to my solicitor, oh, you'll be, you'll be out of here in an hour or two. After interview, yeah. They didn't. They, they tried to... I did handwriting samples, and they fast-tracked this to, like, um, one of these handwriting specialists, right? To see if this letter, and this handwriting on the front of this letter came back to me. And it didn't, and I knew it wouldn't and stuff. But they still tried... And they fucking, like I say, they kept me in for nearly 24 hours, right? And then, like I say, they've got to charge you, bail you, and or no further action here, right? And it's as simple as that. Um, it's the old game of cat and mouse and stuff. Like I say, I didn't do anything wrong that time. Um, but like I say, I've had bail. I've, I've been on bail stupid amounts of times, guys. And like I say, the... the, the the, the fact that this new legislation has been passed, it actually is better for criminals because it gives the police a shorter window, right? Look at it like this, guys, right, from a criminal's perspective, yeah? Um, there's fewer police on the streets, right? That's a fact, yeah? In IE, there's, there's, there's less and less police numbers, right? And now they've got a shorter window, a hell of a shorter window, a year plus, right? Some people can be on bail for two months, three months, four months, six months, eight months. What they do, they, mine, yeah, they used to say, oh, two months and then come back in another two months. Another uh, three months or four months and come back in another four months, yeah? And I used to turn up at the cop shop, yeah? Like I say, having to go to the cop shop to sign on, right? What that means, yeah, is between the, between the hours of 10 a.m. and 12 p.m., right? So tw 10 and 12 noon, sorry, I had to attend the police station in that two hour window, if I didn't, the police would have circulated me, I would have been arrested for breach of bail, I would have been taken back to the police station, and chances are they could have remanded me because the, the how strict my bail conditions were. 
Um, so yeah, that was that. Um, it was like a, it, I, it fucked me off because like I'd not done anything wrong, but yet I was still like, imagine going to the cop shop twice a week, every week, yeah. Fucking hell, I, I, I became on first name terms with a fucking, with, with the staff down at the local fucking police station, yeah, man. And like I say, walk in, I, I felt like fucking hell, like I was a criminal, but I felt like I'd done something wrong and I hadn't done anything wrong. But that's the way I was made to feel, guys, through them. But like I say, with fewer police on the streets and stuff, and less and less police officers, right, um, and smaller windows now to charge people or to, to NFA it, no further action. Like I say, no further action means where the charges against you have been dropped. Then it's a win-win for criminals, guys, to be honest. Like I say, crimes, if you look at crimes across the country at the moment, they're all soaring and stuff because the police are not are there. There's no visual deterrent of the police on the streets. And even if there was a visual deterrent of police on the streets, I don't think it'd stop people. I really don't. It's a green light for criminals to commit crimes across the board. I'm not telling people to commit crime. I would never do that. I'm not stupid. Um, I wouldn't incite that. But yeah, it, it's just that, that's just the way we're living, guys. It, it's better news for criminals, right? I'm, I'm no longer a criminal. And like I say, I do these videos on my experiences and stuff. Be aimed at people that have never been in trouble but might end up being in trouble because obviously people grow up they end up involved in gangs they get involved in all sorts of stuff and then they could end up in getting arrested and stuff and these videos guys are just aimed at talking about subjects that might affect you um, prison prison advice all that sort of stuff how to get by and stuff uh, and hopefully it helps a few people now like i say guys anyway i'm going to leave it there um this covers police bail um, thank you very much for your time, guys. As always, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.